What's up, y'all? It's y'all soon to be Favor Hoochie, and I'm back with another mother freaking story time. <laughs> if you can see by the title, this is gonna be a story time about how a crackhead, can I say crackhead? A CH for for right now, and we're just gonna say CH. How a CH tried to charge me up at my job, y'all, and tried to set it off at my job. But yeah, before I get into this video, disclaimer, I do cuss, I do cuss. And I do want to say big congratulations to the Hoochie Gang. We done hit 200 subscribers. And we are quickly on our way to 300. And don't forget my giveaway is still going. Once the Hoochie Gang, once we hit 500, I'm going to go ahead and sign, seal, deliver an Oculus new inbox to you, to the hoochie that's showing like the most support, sharing with their mama, sharing with their daddy, sharing with their bald headed granny. You know I'm just playing. You know I'm just playing. Like you ain't gotta get offended. <laughs> you know I'm just playing. Your granny got hurt. Your granny got hurt. We know she got hurt. So, um, I just want to say thank y'all for even taking the time to click through this video. I mean, click this video and get a little tap it, ratchet with the kid because y'all don't have to. And I really do appreciate the support and I appreciate the, um, swiftly growing family. So welcome, you know, don't, don't be scared to like, I don't know what it is. Like, I can't see y'all likes. Like, I don't know if, if, if people just don't be wanting to support because y'all don't, y'all don't want me to see who it is. I promise. I Promise. I cannot see who's liking the video. So, I mean, just go ahead and like the video. If you're not going to subscribe, if you're not going to join the gang, you're not going to join the Ho Hoochie family, just go ahead and like. It takes nothing to like. 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 On your way out. Comment a period. Comment whatever's on your mind. Comment whatever's on your heart. Comment the cha-cha lady. Let's go ahead and make that our thing. Let's go ahead and make that our thing. Do me that one. Do me that one. Because I was asking nicely, but I don't know. I don't know if, if y'all want me to like, bitch, like this motherfucking video, bitch. I don't know what y'all want me to do. Because I've been asking nicely, it's not working. So, which approach do y'all want me to take? Which approach? Because either is fine. Either is fine. But anyways, I'm not going to hold y'all. We, um, I'm not going to riff and ramble. You know, grab your snacks, grab your cheese, grab whatever you need. And if you don't need anything, then just sit back and relax. Because, bitch, bitch. I got the juice. And you know, it's juicy. <laughs> it's juicy. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's go. So, yeah, y'all. Um, If you can see by the title, this is going to be about the time where a... I don't know if I can say the CH word, the holiday. I got the bike holiday. I don't know if I can say that word. So, let's just go ahead and go with Fiend. So, this is going to be... A, um. A story time about how a fiend tried to charge me up, attack me, approach me, however you want to say it, threaten me at work. So, um, this story time take place, I want to say maybe mm, three years ago when I was working at this job. And a lot of bullshit happened at this job, y'all. And I don't even know if I said it in the beginning. Only disclaimer is I cuss and forgive my puppy in the background. He be tripping and... Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to control him, bleep him out, but yeah, I'm gonna just claim here. Let me get back to the story. So, um, yeah, I was working at this job, a lot of bullshit happened at this job. Let's just say I was working at a healing facility. It's not really a healing facility, but for the sake of just for the sake of, we're just gonna go with that. So, um I was working at this healing facility, we would see like so many like people a day like we would see probably like three four five hundred people a day this place was busy it was crazy but we would always have a good time so let's just say um uh my co-worker holiday and let's say my co-worker mock we're gonna say holiday because holiday Holiday looked like holiday heart for real. Like gave holiday heart the the, the waves that every the, everything was given holiday heart. So um and yeah, like the sexual orientation, everything was given holiday heart. If you get my juice, you get my juice. Like you get my juice. And no offense, cause I live for the LGBT QRL and peak community. I really do. So 
not too much. Holiday no. was um, a coworker. He worked in a different department, but Mock used to work with me. And I say her name was Mock because she used to be jocking shit. Like weird. It was just weird. It was just giving weird. And that's a different story time for a different day. Like always. There's always. Here we go with this chair. Here we go with this chair. There's always a different story time for a different day. So, um, yeah, me and Mock was just doing our regular due diligence, like just working. We did like the front desk at this, um, what I said was at this healing facility or whatever. We did, we worked the front desk there or whatever. So we was always on the front line. We would see these four or 500 people a day. Like, so yeah, How, every now and then holiday would come, we would crack jokes, you know, we would high side, kick it, have a good time, had to have a good time because it was so much that went on. We we'll always do our best to try to laugh. You know, kick it, high side, whatever, whatever it took to make the time go by. And Holiday was like kind of like a family friend, like a friend of a family. So you peoples are my peoples, you my peoples. You know, in the black world, you my you my cousin, you his cousin, you my cousin. So yeah, you my people's people, we people. So we, me and Holiday, click instantly. We bonded we got on the hot satin train we was able to like just that was just our gist that's just what we did with each other with each other like i ain't gonna hold you sometimes you know holiday was just ruthless ruthless as fuck like sometimes holiday would crack jokes on the um the patience or whatever but you know sometimes i would not i would try my best not to laugh because i don't want to be like sent to the pits of hell with him <laughs> them jokes was too far and that's exactly exactly where he was going with them jokes so um yeah um on this particular day it was like a typical busy day you know and this pa the, the the person the patient fiend come um come into uh the facility or whatever it just so happened that he fell on me for me to check him in or whatever into his um treatment appointment or whatever his healing appointment as i should say his healing appointment so um i check him in or whatever he tried to make like little comments little conversations you know i'm always polite i always make small talk Made my small talk, you know, have a good day. I always try to give people the best customer service. Like, I don't care what job I was in. Even from a young age, I've been working since I was 14. Like, and it's time to about retire. I've been working since I was 14, and I don't give a fuck what job it is. Like, I literally do try to go beyond, above and beyond in my job. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the perfectionist in me that just want to be great. Just want to be great. So... Yeah, I always, I made sure to give um, <clears throat> Fee the proper, you know, um, you know, like the proper customer service. Like treat anybody how I wanted to be treated, even though, you know, your choice of activities is your choice of activity. <laughs> so, yeah, I had made sure I had gave him the best of service, you know, have a great day, you know, talk to him for a little bit, chopped it up with him for a little bit. Because he was making small talks, small conversation. So I made sure to like talk to him or whatever. And he left. Um, we get our little line down because we start to have like a line as usual, per usual. Like you would have thought like, it's actually sad. Like if you really knew where I actually work, it was actually sad to see that many people a day. Like that many people a day. It makes you even wonder like what the fuck they doing to us. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. But um yeah, so it was typical for us to, you know, like have a have a big rush and then like we'd be chilling or whatever. And so, you know, we had our big rush, our big wave or whatever, and now it was at the point we just chilling, winding down, listening to music, talking, me and um me and uh what did I name her? Mock was just talking, you know, like typical, you know, how your life going, how your life going, whatever, you know, just Chopping it up, whatever, doing what we do. So, per usual, holiday came around like clockwork. Like once, once we be clear, we be clean. Like ain't no, ain't no, 
like lines sometimes even if it was a line how would they just stand off to the side of the um little podium thing or whatever and he would just you know wait for us to get clear and then we would chop it up and do whatever we gotta do but i when i was at work like i said i was i told y'all i was damn near employee of the year like in my mind in my mind i was employee of the year <laughs> So I really wasn't finna let nobody play with my money. Like once I moved out and I depend on the job, like shit, I'm not playing with you about my money. I'm gonna do my job and then we can bullshit later. Job, then bullshit, you know. So um once we got the line down or whatever, we was entertaining, you know, holiday, just talking, ha ha, you know. Kick it in, just do what we always do, high on each other, just, you know, laughing at each other. And he, um, probably nine times out of ten, high sided me about my toxic ass love life with Kid. And if y'all ain't seen those stories, y'all, my story times are always listed below. Previous, I mean, all my previous story times are always listed below. So y'all can always catch them, go ahead and check them out so y'all can catch up and y'all can be on board with who I'm talking about. So yeah, he will always talk about my ex kid and how we need to get back together, blah, blah, blah. Just hot out me on stuff with me and him on what we had going on or whatever. And so, you know, um, a while rolled by, I want to say maybe like an hour rolled by or whatever. We just like still kicking it. You know, patients are coming every now and then. You know, we doing what we need to do and then moving on and then we back to conversation. We back to our world doing what we do, like an everyday thing. Can't stress this enough, people. On a, like, on a team. We just do what we do best. So, yeah. Um, out of nowhere, like, Holiday walk off. He was like, all right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. He said peace out to me and um, Mock. And he's like, I'll hit y'all later. I'll roll back around him later and see what y'all know. I'm like, let me go do my little work. And then, you know, once I'm clear sky free i'll be back to kick it with y'all we'll be back to bullshit and do what we do so we peace him out or whatever you know and i just get to like really i think i just started like texting on my phone or whatever because we didn't have no nobody at the time like we was clear so um typical you know girl stuff i i'm addicted to my phone i don't care what job i'm at i'm addicted to my phone so, um, you know, I'm just texting or whatever, probably arguing with kid or doing whatever it is with kid. And I look up and it's Fiend. And Fiend is like approaching the podium or whatever. And, you know, I put on my customers, best customer service face because, you know, I'm back in work mode. I'm back in best employee of the year mode. So I'm like, hey, Fiend, like, is there anything that I can do for you? Like, what's going on? You need anything? Like, you trying to see what's going on with your appointment? Kind of confused because I believe at this point, like, Fina already, like, went back, had his um, healing session, and, you know, was done for. He really don't know why he was there. But, you know, neither here nor there. We're a resource. We're there to help. So, um, yeah, I'm like, hey, you know, my best friendly, you know, customer service boy like uh what's going on or whatever and he's just like you think you slick you think you slick i'm like excuse me excuse me slick slick, slick about what like i don't i don't i'm confused i don't get what you're talking about fiend like slick about what and he was just it's like yeah you think you slick you think you slick you had that i don't want to repeat the word that he said but let's just say it started with an f and it rap it rhymed, i said rap it rhymed with back so yeah he was um he used that word and um he was speaking of holiday he was like yeah you call him over here you call him over here to check me out you call him over there to check me out i seen you i seen you call him over there to check me out and i just want you to know I just want you to know, I don't play that shit. I don't play that shit. And you gonna pay for that shit. Like, you gonna pay for that shit, cause I don't play that, I'm a real nigga. I don't play that shit. I'm just like, sir, like, I'm so confused. Like, I don't know where you're getting at, where you're coming at. Like, I'm always remain, remaining professional. This is my job. Like, I will not send any anybody anywhere to check you out, like, um, if you're referring to holiday, like, 
he's always standing right here so i just i don't i don't get anything it was nothing towards you um i apologize y'all even though i know i wasn't wrong i'm sitting here apologizing putting on my best customer service put my best motherfucking foot forward <laughs> put my best foot forward and you still want to play you still you're still antagonizing me pushing me thing pushing me pushing me but you know i didn't let him break me i was still you know and employee of the year mode so i'm just like you know i'm sorry reassuring him like i don't know where you're getting this information from but that's not correct that is not correct not trying to get anybody to hit on you sir like i'm just here to do my job y'all can y'all believe it like i have another nat i have another nat jackson it is weird. Like, I ain't seen a nat. I ain't had a nat disturb me in yet. In, like, since, like, a year. A year. Anyways. So, yeah. He just kept on, like, trying to tell me, like. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Like, you you caught this nigga over here. Like, I got you. Like, that's disrespectful, ma. Like, that's disrespectful. Like, what you did. What you did. Like, yeah, I'm going I'm to have to see to that shit. Like, we, I don't play that. I'm just like, you know what, sir? I don't know what you're talking about, but, you know, you, you have a great day. Like, you have a great day. I have to continue doing my job because that's what they pay me to do. You know, like, that's why I'm here. <laughs> that's why I'm here to do my job. So, you know, I'm sorry you got any impression or you was under any impression. I'm so sorry. I apologize. If there's anything that we can do, let me know. Let me know if there's anything that we can do. Like, if you need to speak to my manager, let me know. Like, let me know. So, I called. Let's bring in another co-worker. I called. Um, I called McStuffins. Because that's just what. <laughs> it's really <laughs> an inside. That's just what we used to call. Her. That was just her code name. When she used to get on my nerves at work. I'm not even going to hug you. I love McStuffins dearly, but yeah, like she get on when, when she got on my nerves. So that was her name, McStuffins. So yeah, um, I call McStuffins, and I'm like, yeah, can you handle this out of control? You know, patient. You know, this is a patient that's on that. That's on that. You know, I need you to just come out here and pretend to be manager. You know handle this situation because i tried and i'm usually a pro i'm usually a pro at de-escalating the situation and i just can't de-escalate him like he hasn't convincing his mind whatever he has convincing his mind there's no calming him down so i mean can you come out here pretend to be manager so we can move on with the day so we can move on with the day so mcstuffins has come out <laughs> i'm still laughing at the same <laughs> mcstuffins come out or whatever and you know she playing the role of the manager what's going on um, trying to reassure him, like, you know, I'm going to talk to her, you know, I assure you that we try to remain professional at all times, it's a professional setting, but, you know, I would talk to my employee, blah, 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 blah. you know, playing the role of a manager, cool, have that conversation, wrapped it up, came back over there to me and Mark, it was like, you know, conversation handle, you know, you could just tell he's not wrapped too tight, then it's not wrapped too tight. There's, you know, the elevator is not bring, going all the way to the 12th floor. So, you know, just just ignore, you know, hopefully this too shall pass. And, you know, he move on with his, his life, his business or whatever, you know. And we going on because at this place, let's just say it was the county. Like, it was the county. So, we seen it all. We seen it all from the homeless to the street walkers to the... Straight shooters. <laughs> like, we see that all. So, I hope I can say that. <laughs> I hope I can say that. So, you know, yeah, whatever. But it is what it is. We seen it all. So, we was dealing with a whole different crowd at, you know, this location. This location was not for the week. Let me add that. Let me add that. That is important that I add that. So, it was, like, kind of used to it, you know, like, sir. But I was just really kind of flabbergasted. Flabbergasted, blown away because I really didn't know what he was talking about. Like, sir, we wasn't even worried about you. Once I clock, once I, I'm talking about clock, once I checked you in and did what we had to do and got you ready for your appointment and everything, like, I was done with you. You was forgotten about, Fee. Like, I, I, that's why I was so blown away. Like, I didn't even remember you sitting over there until you came up, up here and said something to me. So, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, 
Yeah, so I, you know, move on with my day. Um, uh, working or whatever, and maybe I want to say maybe an hour passed by when Fiend first came in. It was probably I want to say maybe like ten. And usually around this time, like always, like clockwork, I always take my lunch at like one thirty. I don't know why, like. I don't know why I always take my lunch. So I will always take it at like 1, 1 30 because I will always get off like 3, 4, you know? So it, it makes sense. It's logical to take it at the end. So I only got this little bit of shift and boom, my shit could fly by, you know? like <clears throat> Let it clear out. Let it clear out. I let it rain. I clear it out. I let it rain. I clear it out. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're back. We're back. So, um, what was I saying? Yeah. So, anyways, um, Fiend came in about 10. At this time, it's around, you know, um, getting around that time for me to take my lunch break. And I'm noticing, like, Fiend just waiting around. Like, I took my lunch break at, like I said, 1, 1 30, whatever. Um, always. So, I'm just like, is he waiting around for me? Because he's well done with his healing session. Like, he don't have no reason to be here. He's just been sitting off just watching, observing, peeping the scene, peeping with me and my guy going on. So, I already kind of put two, two, two together to make four to equal up that I already know what this nigga is in the corner trying to do. Like, you're trying to wait for me to move or go on the, um, go on my lunch break because i think he i know for a fact he overheard me saying to the other um co-workers that i was going to take my lunch break because just you know forgetting the whole interaction that happened the whole altercation like not even thinking too much about it we started talking about our lunch break and who was going to take a lunch break or whatever so i was pretty much already expressed out loud like I was gonna take my lunch break, oh. like not even thinking, not even thinking about fiend ass over here. I mean, I, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I look like a fiend doing this shit. But um, yeah, I didn't even know this fiend ass over there sitting in the corner, like people in the whole scene the whole time. But closer to my lunch break, I started to realize like damn like i'm getting closer and closer to my lunch break and he's not moving like he just sitting over there in the corner and i know he ain't got no business being here no more because he's been his shit been long and and, and done for so i'm telling um everybody i'm pretty much um i call mcstuffins because mcstuffins was located in like a hole we were like in the same department but she had her own like little office or whatever so i called mcstuffins or whatever and i was like i just because at this time mcstuffins she wasn't like a manager or nothing or a lead or nothing but she was like the closest thing to like management she been there like for fucking ever so you know how they just feel like they got like sorority and they just appear over everybody else she kind of was a little bit so she was like the closest thing that i had to like management at that time like we would have to call or text our management like to let them know if anything was going on or you know anything going on with our department we pretty much out of sight out of mind we really didn't get micromanaged like that so um so yeah um, I call her and I'm just letting McStuffins know. I'm like, look, I don't know what Fiend got going, and I already know by now, y'all. The story times will be for a different day, but they knew how I gave it up at that job. So it was just like, I don't know what he got going. We already know he not wrapped too tight. So, um, and I'm not really, um tied in too tight neither so you know i just want to forewarn y'all like if i step off this premises and i walk to my car or i go to my car or i do anything and on my way there or to my way there or being there he does anything to me we're gonna have a problem like we're gonna have a problem and my job better be secure because it's not my fault what do y'all want me to do like this job really did expect you to like get your ass beat and i do nothing like not do nothing like not do nothing here we are dealing with these crazy 
ass people and we're not expecting to do nothing. Like, they wouldn't expect, like, you getting your ass up to be like, no, no, I'm not going to hit you. I'm not going to hit you. Like, what the? Are y'all, like, who would do that? Who in their right mind would do that? Jackson. I don't know what I named it. But can you have some respect? And stop disrespecting me and showing yourself. At least hide yourself being in the back of the camera. And stop showing yourself. Damn. Anyways. So. Um. Yeah. So I'm just like for one of her. For one of everybody. Let everybody know how I give it up. Y'all already know how I give it up. So you know. Mm, 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 mm. He come bother me. While I'm like. Not on the clock. Like we're going to have a problem. Because technically I'm not on the clock. So it's free game. So if he bothered me. Because I can clearly I already see what type of time he on. Because he waiting around for something. What is he waiting on? Huh? Hmm? He ain't got no business. He not waiting on supper. Like what is what is he here? He not waiting on his next line. He not waiting on his next puff serve. Whatever the fuck. He not waiting on that. So you know. I already know what type of time he on. He waiting on me. He waiting on me. Okay cool. Okay cool. So, the time finally come around for me to um, go on my lunch break or whatever. So, I called out or whatever and I'm a little petty. I'm a little petty and I should have not be as petty, but, you know, whatever. I had to make a grand exit to let it be known. Like, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Yeah, bye, y'all. I'm clocking now. I'm leaving for my lunch break. Oh. Because don't you, like, sir, don't threaten me. Don't threaten me. Like I told y'all, I I used to eat, breathe, sleep, live for the drama. Give it to me. Door dash it to me. Bring it to me. Send it to me. Send it to me. If you have a problem, I'm solve it. Probably solve it all day. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm by y'all making this grand exit, y'all. Telling um the whole world. That I'm leaving or whatever. Walking slowly to my car. And how it was set up was like we had the podium as soon as you walked in. You could see us straight forward. It had like the little sliding doors, of course. As soon as you walked straight forward, you would see us like on this like round podium or whatever. And it was only really like it was multiple ways out. Like how we were really supposed to park. We was really supposed to park in the employee entrance. Fuck that. That was too long of a walk. And I used to open. So I'm like, it be dark and I'm not gonna park in this garage and have to walk all all the way so i just rather have parked in the front and walked around i don't know why it made sense to me but it made sense to me like when it was time for lunch just to walk out when it was time for me to go home just to walk out instead of like i'll just have to make this one trip this one time instead of having like every time i need to utilize my car walk around so in my mind it made sense and it really do make sense i hope i'm bringing it down to where it makes sense but if you don't i'm sorry but it really did make sense. It really did. It was it was logical thinking as to why I parked where I parked. Dumb. So whatever. I'm walking straight out. It's clear clear as day. You can see clear as day. Um, the cars. It was just the parking lot. Like as soon as you walk out, you walk out. So like the foyer, like an emergency, like when you go to like an emergency clinic and how they got the little foyer in the front and then behind that, like right directly behind it. Not even two steps is the parking lot, you know. So, I'm uh, walking to my car, whatever, making this slow, walking this slow. Call me Yana the fucking title. Because, you know, I was taking my sweet time, like, to get to my car. It did not take me that long to, go, to get to my car. But I was dragging it. I was dragging it. Because, sir. I heard you bitches was looking for me. Bitch, here I go. But anyways, so yeah, I get to my car, I go to my car, whatever, get to my car, safe sound, no problems or whatever. So I'm thinking, okay, cool, whatever. Maybe he was waiting around for another reason. Maybe it wasn't me. He here for another purpose. Like, he, maybe he got another purpose or whatever. But my intuition was telling me he was, it was for me. But whatever, you know, you be tripping, you be overthinking, you know, you know, you be overthinking. You be making two times two, eight, and eight times eight, 45. Like, I be dragging everything sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. Not all the time. Not all the time. So, um, yeah, I go get something to eat or whatever. I'm on the phone with my homeboy. Um, do my homeboy need a name? No, we're just going to call our homeboy homeboy for now. Um, 
but he will maybe have his own story time for the future i'm sure he will because now that i speak this it's other shit is coming back to me but we're just gonna call homeboy homeboy right now and well i already got somebody named homeboy We're just gonna call this homeboy, we're just gonna call him delusional. Because I already do got somebody named homeboy in my other story times and I don't wanna confuse it. It's not that homeboy. So we're gonna give we're just gonna stick his name delusional and use that name for any story moving forward because the nigga really was delusional. He was really delusional. So we're just gonna keep his name delusional or whatever. And um yeah. So I'm on the phone with delusional or whatever. Good time, homeboy. Been my homeboy for a long time. We just talking or whatever it was an everyday thing just to talk on the phone you know i was just going through a breakup so i was out and it was just conversation it was just somebody to talk to so i would regularly call um delusional and you know just shop it up with him or whatever so i was pretty much telling him about the stuff I'm like that he like asked me how my day going like how's work going or whatever and i'm just like dang you know like this this patient really didn't try me, like, <laughs> Fiend really didn't try me, but, you know, like, devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. And, you know, we still gonna have a good day, you know, life goes on or whatever, you know, like, he really threatened me, like, he came at me crazy. He came at me really stupid. He really came at me stupid, and he really just don't know. Like, I will have this whole party lot so up. He just don't know. But um, we gotta keep it professional because at the end of the day, this is my workplace. This is where I make my bread, my butter. And I always gotta think adult wise, like at any moment, like, bitch, you lose your job, then what? Then what? Then what? Yeah, life is already hard. It's already hard with these bills. Imagine it with no job. So, yeah, um, I will always try to keep that in mind or whatever. But. Yeah, he it's, it still can get lit. Like, it still can get turned upside down because, like, sir, you got messed up. Messed up. So, um, yeah, I'm telling him what happened or whatever. I'm like, yeah, this person tried me. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Like, yeah, he tried to threaten me, whatever. Like, he telling me that I did something I did not do. Like, I remained professional. I was really more insulted at my, like, that my character was being tried like that. Like, I don't play that shit when it comes to, like, um, even though I live for the queens or whatever, I don't play that shit like when it comes to a straight man and playing with their sexuality and stuff. I do not do that. So it was just really like and so and then at my job, like it was just really assaulted. I was really taking that person or whatever. So I'm eating whatever, like talking to um talking to delusional or whatever. Part, like at this point, I don't already got my food left the premises. I'm back parked in my spot, and how I where I parked was like all the way in the back, and in the back, like in the back of the parking lot was like a sidewalk, and that's where like people would go walk to like go to the store, or, you know, just walk. Like other people from different like um hospitals and stuff would be like walking this trail different people like walking to the bus just people like walking back and forth or whatever so um i was parked in the back so i didn't figure you know like anybody would see me fiend when i see me he's long gone the situation is done you know like i'm good i'm just sitting in my car on my break enjoying the last of my you know little break because it's just for some reason 30 minute breaks been flying the fuck by like them 30 minute breaks for like five minutes for real so you know i'm just enjoying it talking whatever chopping it up we ain't even talking about fiend no more we're on a whole different subject whatever just laughing having a good time and y'all i cannot make this shit up I cannot make this shit up. I look up and no lo and behold, as the devil is the devil, as the devil is Satan, shit. I see Fiend walking up the goddamn sidewalk. I see him walking full speed up the goddamn sidewalk. And at this point, I don't think he can see me because like I'm like just sitting in my car and he's just walking up. So like I'm like, what the fuck? Like this is my life. This is my life. I just cannot make this up. So, um, he just walking fast. I don't think it had anything to do with me. I th I just think Fiend was just doing what a Fiend does and just being a Fiend, you know? And so, I'm just like, oh, fuck. Like, here we go. Here we go. Just like when I thought I was going to have a good day. Here we go. Here comes the bullshit. Here comes the drama. And I 
just dropped my head, y'all. <laughs> like, I dropped my head. Like, let me just drop my head. So, so he won't see me. And, yeah, he's seen you. He's seen you. Like, we locked eyes before I dropped my head. Oh. Like, I wasn't quick enough, y'all. Like, I wasn't quick enough. I couldn't drop my head fast enough. But I just felt... <laughs> My bad. I just felt like, you know, like maybe there's a chance, there's a possibility, if there's any chance on this good grace of earth, you know, like that he did not see me and he just gonna keep on going. Like he just gonna keep on going. He just gonna keep on going because I don't wanna have to do this. I don't wanna have to do this at my workplace. I remain professional. I don't want them to have to see the side. Like I don't want them to have to see the side. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna find my homeboy it's delusional. And I'm just like, man. This nigga here, like, I just know he finna be on some bullshit. And, y'all, like, I'm telling this story kind of slow, but everything happened so fast. I'm talking to my homeboy, to my homeboy, like, what the fuck? I hope this nigga don't see me. Like, I hope this nigga don't see me, bro. Like, I hope this nigga don't see me. I drop my head, talking to him. Then I look up. This nigga lock eyes on me. And he just starts shaking his head, like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> y'all, I lock my door. I locked my door because the first thing he did, what he do? Grab for my door. And I already knew, like, intuition told me, go ahead and lock your door. Because, yeah. I lock, I believe I locked my door anyway. Like, now, I lock my door anyways. Like, just when I'm sitting in the car because, y'all, this is just a crazy world that we live in. And just, like, not being focused. And if I know I'm not finna have my undivided attention on my surroundings, then, yeah, I'm finna make sure I lock my door. And I'm finna make sure I have safety somewhere close. But at this time, like, I wasn't doing all of that. Well, yeah, I was, but I, I couldn't do that at that time. Like, I couldn't do that at that time. Whatever. That's either here or there. So, he's just like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He reached for the door or whatever. And he's just like, I told you. I told you. I told you. I was going to come. And I'm just like, sir, sir, get the fuck away from my car. Get away from my car. I don't want to have to do anything. Get away from my car. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I just feel my blood like y'all just boiling. I'm just getting mad and frustrated because now I'm finna like my fight or flight is starting to kick into gear. Like I'm starting to feel like I'm in danger. You bring your fiend ass over here to me. Already you did this shit. I already tried to like be professional and like even fuck professionalism. Even as a person, a human being, I understand your manhood, sir. I tried to even come to you as a person, a human, and let you know I don't know what you got going. I don't know what's going on in that brain of yours. I don't. I know you clocked out a long time ago up there, sir. But I'm here to reassure you, like your thought process is not your thought process. It's not happening the way you that you're processing it. So. But yeah, but you you want to do this, so sir? I'm really trying, but you're you're like you're pushing me. You're pushing me. So once again, natural employee of the month instant. I call McStuffins, and I'm like McStuffins, get your ass out of here right now because Fiend is at my car right now, and I'm telling y'all right, like I'm telling you, I will like set it off in this bitch. In like five seconds, I look at my um, I look at my rearview mirror because I'm still sitting in my car. I look up in my rearview mirror and I see McStuffins. Like, Yana, where you at? 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 Where you at, Yana? Where you at? Where you at? I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. Where you at? And I'm just like, I'm all the way to the back in my car. I'm all the way to the back of my car. But I'm saying this just because I don't want to confuse y'all. Because as I'm talking to her, like telling her, trying to explain to her where I'm at, I'm still arguing with Fiend. I'm still arguing with this nigga over here. Like telling him, get the fuck away from my car. Like, I'm telling you, man, get away from my car. This nigga better get the fuck away from my car. And she, where you at? Where you at? I'm in the back. I'm in the back. I'm in the back. God damn, how many times do I have to tell you this parking lot is this big? This big, bitch. How many times do I have to tell you I'm in the back? It don't take you that long to find me. It don't take you that long to find me. But, yeah, like, after a while, like, after he seen that I was calling somebody or whatever, he, um hit the dash and he go walking down the street like he take off down the street or whatever 
And so, like, I get out the car because as he walk off, like, once he begin to walk off from my car, I feel like I can get out the car. Because now I got backup. I got um, McStuffins. I, I almost said her name. I got McStuffins here. So, yeah, if anything go down any farther, hopefully you can be my witness. And I know the policy or whatever. But, yeah, like, it's, it's probably finna go down. It's probably finna go down. So, um... Yeah, I get to make stuff and so whatever, and I'm like, yeah, like, what the fuck, like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? And she's just like, I call, relax, relax, calm down, calm down, I already called the police, I already called the police, the police is on their way, and, um, the healing place police is on their way or whatever, so relax, chill, 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 y'all, like, chill, chill, because y'all, I was on 30, I was boiling hotter than a motherfucker. Volcano, bitch. I was hotter than hell, y'all. Like, I was so fucking mad. I was so livid. I was so livid because I felt tried. Like, bitch, you know I'm at work. It's like you get tried so much when you're at work. It's like because you're at work. People know you're at work. And it's like, you know, I got responsibilities. You know, I got bills. So, you think that you can try me? You think that I give a fuck that much? That I'm gonna continue to let me try. You try me like I'm gonna let you get a little, you know. I'm like, I'm gonna give you a little leeway, you know, because I start to think about them bills or whatever, you know. I, I give you a little leeway, but it ain't that sweet that, you know, I'm gonna just like, mm -mm. right idea, right idea, sir. Wrong, just complete wrong, complete wrong, bitch, complete wrong, bitch, sorry, <laughs> complete wrong. So anyways, um, yeah, so he halfway down the street and I'm just like, come here, come here, don't come here, where you going? Where are you going? Because now I got a witness, that's all I really needed. That's all I really needed. Patients really not gonna, you know, the people at the healing facility that don't really work there, you know, they they can voice their opinion, but y'all don't really have no no weight, you know. I really need weight. I I really need a, a weight witness, you know, so no pun intended. <laughs> McSuffins was a big, a, a, a big one. So, you know, like, it was, I kind of was, like, had to break out of character a little bit when I looked up and seen her, like, crisscrossing, like, doing the goddamn, trying to break ankles in my, in a damn rearview mirror. It really was a scene. Like, it really was funny, y'all. Like, moving forward after the, after the situation, after the fact, like, we was really cracking up. Like, me and Holiday was really cracking up about this shit. Like, me and Holiday, everybody was cracking up about that shit. Like, cause I was, it was just so funny. It was just funny. Like, but anyways, back to the story. So yeah, I'm just like, come on, come back, come back, come back or whatever, come back, come back. Because I really didn't want this bitch to get arrested. Cause at this point, thing, if I can't lay hands on you, what's the second best? Second best is for you to go to jail. Cause you, what? And you think you're gonna go get away with this? Like, no, no, come back, come back. Where are you going? Where are you going? The party has just started. Like, where are you going? Where are you going? But anyways, Fiend one done. He had got the fuck off the premises. Ace, like, then it was gone. He was gone. Like, and I didn't see him again. He was never to be seen up again or whatever. And yeah, so I'm hot. I'm hot. The police finally came. Woo, 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 woo. The red and blue, red and blue finally came or whatever. And I had, I was cool. You know, I had a little relationship with the, um, not like that. Not like that. Uh, a strictly platonic work relationship with the police. We was real cool. So, you know, like, I was chopping it up with him, letting him know, like, this, this nigga was insane. Like, I don't know what the fuck he had going on, but like, he had to, like, I told y'all, right idea, wrong bitch. Just simply wrong bitch. Simply wrong bitch. Simply wrong bitch. So, yeah, I'm just telling him whatever. I don't know what he had going on, but, you know, he like fucked up, whatever. And he was just like, yeah, if I would have came, if I would have came. But you did it. You did. You were too late. You were too late. That's why y'all need to keep your ass on the premises. Y'all know what kind of environment we work in. Why would y'all be five, ten minutes away? What if we was in a hostile environment? What the fuck we was going to do? And y'all want to do the no hand, 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 back? Let's, let's ask him what policy. Like, what was he going to do? Hmm? And y'all 10 minutes, 15 minutes away. It took y'all this long to get here. He's gone. He gone, okay? He gone. He gone. He gone. You let him get away. You let him get away. So who cares what you would have done, sir? Who done? Officer of the law, who cares what you would have done? It wasn't done. Justice was not served today. It was not served today. So anyways, who cares? Let's just move forward. Let's just move forward. So yeah, like we... <laughs> 
we was we resort back in like when we was having this conversation with the whoop, 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 the boys, the officer of the lives. We was outside in the front in the podium, still outside. So we resorted back in, you know. And I'm just like, you know what? Fuck the rest of the day, you know. Let me just go ahead and call my manager up. Like, not the pretend manager, not the fake manager. Let me call my real manager. Let her know what's going on. And let her know I'm distraught. I'm distraught. And I need to go home. Go ahead and send me the fuck home. Because, you know, from here on down, I will be no resource to y'all. To you and your company, I would be no resource. Once something go wrong for me, once I'm pissed off, I'm irritated, or something is just like my mind is gonna be tunnel vision on it for the rest of the day. I'm I'm gonna be non functional. I'm not gonna be able to work. I'm just gonna be, you know, like no use to you. So why play with your money? Why play with you? Anybody? I just go ahead and say pity off for the rest of the day. Go ahead and let me go home. Send me home because I'm no use. Like, and you know the environment that we already work in. I already told y'all it's ghetto. It's ghetto. Let's not even sugarcoat it. It's ghetto. It's ghetto. And it's not for the week. Right now I'm a little weak. I'm a little emotionally weak. I'm I'm on the board of snapping. I'm on the board of snapping. And I need my job right now. I don't I don't know what's gonna go on right now. I don't know what's gonna go on with the situation. Cause I ain't gonna hold y'all, y'all. I show my ass. I show my entire at bamboo. Baboo, call me Yana the Baboo. Because I whole ass out. Whole ass out, show my whole ass. And I kind of was like a little embarrassed. Because, you know, like at work, I'm so professional. So I know that was like, who the fuck is this? Bring it in. This, this psycho bitch. Who is this? Who is this? This her? This sweetheart? Not her? Like, not her? Yeah, y'all. Like, I was showing my, I showed out. I showed out, so I was a little secondhand embarrassed, you know. He should be embarrassed, he should be embarrassed because, you know, I can't believe I even let a thing get me to this level. But it was just the audacity for me. Like, once you came to my car and I was even, like, technically kind of off the clock, like, it was, it was for game. It was for game. It was for game. It was for game. So, yeah, y'all, I called my manager. I let her know. I'm distraught. I let her know what happened. Let her know. I'm going to go ahead and clock out. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm going to go ahead and end this shift right here, right now. I'm gonna, I'll see y'all tomorrow. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna resume. We're going to pick this up tomorrow with everybody. Let's go Let's go home. Let's let's get refreshed. Let's relax. You know, let me let me get my thoughts together. Let me let me come back down to earth. Let me come back down to earth. Because, you know, I, I told y'all, my shit stream be unraveling. And it's unraveling right now. It's unraveling. Let me go home. Let me tie it up. And let's come back home. Let's let's, let's come back to work tomorrow. We're going to try it all over again. We're going to try it all over again. So she was like, yeah, I understand. Yeah, go ahead and clock out. Go ahead and go home. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, too. We need a raise. Like, just for this, we need a raise. Like, y'all, we are too underpaid for this shit. This ghetto-ass shit. And we deal with this all the time. But yeah, y'all. So, um... Yeah, holiday end up coming, you know, around, you know, and I'm like, bitch, I'm been suck out. I'm been suck out. I'm distraught. I'm emotionally distraught. I'm emotionally damaged. I need to go ahead and go. So, you know, like, I briefly ran down the story to holiday, and I was like, yeah, I see you, Maniana. I see you, Maniana. You know, whatever. And that was that. You know, the next day, we came in and did the shit all over again. Not that, not that, but we did our typical routine and they came and talked, the head head boss and the manager had came and talked to us and to me or whatever. And first and foremost, apologize because yeah, that was some wild shit, y'all. Like we done seen a lot of shit and a lot of stuff happen, but never did a patient or, you know, a patient of this healing place, like come and direct their energy, you know, like be on some like, violent shit to us oh story time story time i have seen a situation where like it was violent to other people but never to us like never to us or whatever so yeah um and that'll be a story time for a different day maybe i'll tell a story next like because yeah but anyways, yeah, so that was it. They informed me that Fiend is never to come to this healing place again. Like, you're already healed, clearly. Like, you're, you're strong enough to do this shit. Like, you're strong enough to do what you did yesterday. So, you don't need us. You don't need our services. So, yeah, he was banned. Banned from 
this specific this specific place and i really didn't give a fuck about nowhere else because this is where i work so anywhere else like it didn't have nothing to do with me I forgot to add that i did catch up with holiday and then when i was talking to holiday one time we was following up on the story whatever he was just like girl guess what i was like what bitch you know what and he was like i seen thing at like while i was going to like the grocery store or whatever i had seen him and he was like on a block like in the area with like the fiends be or whatever and I was like, oh, yeah. And he was like, yeah. And when I seen him, when I seen that bitch, I just threw, like, a, a can, like, my soda can at him. And I was just like, bitch, you bitch, that's what you get for fucking with my, my friend. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what he told me. <laughs> like, that's what it was. We just laughed and shit about it because it was hilarious. So he could never, ever, 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 ever come to our workplace again and if he was we were to call the police immediately 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 and i was satisfied i was satisfied with how the situation was handled because i wasn't even sure you know how they begin giving it up i wasn't sure they was gonna be on my side they side you know the 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 customer is always right type shit but you know fortunately it worked out my favor the, the devil is a lot no woman form shall prosper and it worked out in my favor y'all but y'all already know that's the end of this story. But if y'all stuck to the end of this video, I fucks with y'all. And I really do appreciate y'all for sticking with me. If y'all new to this video, go ahead and um, subscribe. Go ahead and kick it with the hoochies. Go ahead and join the game. And welcome if y'all brand new. I really do appreciate y'all for going ahead and getting a little bit, little bit tappy ratchet with the kid. And, you know, uh, tuning in to my story times. And don't forget my giveaway. Like I said, once we hit 500 signs to deliver, I am paying attention to who's showing love. But right now, it's not really nobody. Like, we're not really nobody. Like, I do see the comments that are being said, but it's the consistency. It's the consistency until we get to where we need. It's the consistency until we hit this 500. But, um, yeah, y'all. Go ahead and follow the kid on her social medias because I know I didn't say it in the beginning. At Instagram at it girl Yana, Snapchat at Thuggy Nasty, Facebook at Yana Lachey. And yeah, until I see y'all. Oh, what? That is not what I meant. That's why I need to stop drinking. That's why I need to leave that tequila alone. I need to leave that tequila alone. But until next time, I see y'all in my next mother freaking video.